Do you know that in the near future, we could be living in buildings and entire cities 3D printed with wood? It might sound like a dream, but thanks to projects like the three-year-long EU Plus project in Umeå, we've already come a long way. Let's start at the beginning with the 3D printer. The 3D printer has been around for quite a while and as time has gone by, the use of the 3D printer has evolved radically. In fact, for half a decade there have been successful attempts at printing actual buildings. The subject of 3D printing in construction has been gaining popularity in recent years. Right now there are loads of different universities and institutes around the world working with researching and developing this technology. In the west of France, for example, a five-room habitable building was on-site printed back in 2017. The Sheikh of Dubai has even announced that in 2030, 25% of all new buildings in the city will be made by 3D printing. So, in a way, the future of construction is already here. But what's the point of 3D printing buildings? In short, sustainability. 3D printing minimizes waste thanks to it being what is generally called additive construction, which differs from the traditional methods which are called reductive construction. The best way to explain the difference between these two methods is to imagine yourself making a sculpture. With reductive construction, you would use a pick and a mallet to chisel out the shape of your artwork from a large block of stone. With additive construction, you would simply make your masterpiece using clay. All of the clay you used would end up on the finished sculpture. The amount of waste from additive construction is close to nothing in comparison to reductive construction, while at the same time allowing the architect full freedom to create innovative designs. But, using additive construction is not enough to achieve sustainability. We can't just change the way we build. We also need to change what we're building with. Today's 3D printed buildings use concrete as their main material. This isn't ideal since cement calcination and the production stand for about 5% of all global carbon dioxide emissions. The total environmental impact from construction is measured with the help of the Life Cycle Analysis, or LCA. It shows the environmental impact from the typical stages in the life of a building. In all of the stages, energy is put in and waste in combination with emissions comes out. This energy use accounts for about 19% of the global greenhouse gas emissions in the OECD countries. During all stages except construction and usage, wood was shown to make a significantly lower impact on the environment. With this in mind, an increase in the use of wood for buildings would drastically reduce carbon dioxide emissions. However, when using wood as a printing material, there are quite a few things that need to be in order. It's not as simple as chopping down a tree and putting it into a printer. To be able to use wood when printing, it first needs to be combined with other materials in order to bind, for example glue and different plastics. Wood combined with these other materials results in a slurry. The wood slurry also demands a specific set of qualities in order to function as a printing material. For example, the slurry has to be solid enough to support the coming layers, and the drying of the slurry from layer to layer must be quick enough to prevent the layers from collapsing under their own weight. There are many promising benefits with 3D printing using wood. As of date, however, this technology is still in its infancy and there are loads of interesting challenges to tackle in the future. But thanks to initiatives like the PLUS project, we can make a difference and come closer to a more sustainable and innovative construction method that will be beneficial for both people and our planet.